What's good everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great, excellent, excellent day. Today is the awesome mighty day of Thanksgiving. I'm very thankful for everyone who's tuning in, who tunes into all my other videos. I really, really do appreciate everyone out there. But today we're here to just give you guys a quick little brief overview of this Monday's releases. Typically, we would be talking about an upcoming Saturday release or something big, a big drum one release on a Saturday. Unfortunately, that's not the case. I don't like weekday jobs, but it is what it is. We got two huge, huge Nike Jordans coming out this Monday. First of all, we got the Nike Jordan 1 Mid uh, Metallic Golds. And then we got the Jordan 1 uh, Highs releasing a Men's and GS in the black patent gold colorway. Right now, both of these shoes are going for a pretty penny. They're both going to be very profitable. They're both going to be relatively hard to cop. So in this video, we're going to break down the entire release schedule, where you can get them, where's your best chance at copping them, and of course, we're going to have some resale predictions out there as well. And now as for this weekend's releases, we kind of did break that down in this past Monday's video, where we did bricks or flips. Make sure you guys check that out if you haven't. Uh, the Jordan 4s this week are a great cop in my opinion. I'm going to try to get like 10, 12 pairs just about. We got... Black Friday is going to be a huge, huge day. We're going to have a vlog posted up tomorrow for you guys from Supreme. Uh, we're going to go to Palace. We're probably going to go home and catch some PS5s. So hopefully we caught some yesterday. By the way, the premium group, I, I don't like to promote this in every single video because it gets annoying. I understand that. But we literally destroyed yesterday's release. And the Paranoise first come, first release on a special low-key site. That wasn't so low-key, but we caught it early. Um, I know like we got 10 out of like the 80 pairs that loaded up on the website, which is insane success considering it was Paranoises on a Shopify site. And yeah, it was all manual cops from us. So if you guys haven't checked out the group, make sure you guys do so. Check us out on Instagram and Twitter. We've been killing it lately, absolutely killing it lately. Um, and uh, you definitely are missing out if you're not in. So without further ado, let's pop on the green screen and get right into it. Now, as you guys can see, we're pulled up on the Nike sneakers desktop version. Once again, for all releases, I always highly recommend using the sneakers app. Uh, the sneakers platform was made to be an app and not so much as a desktop version. I know they're supposed to be getting away, getting rid of actually the whole desktop version previously, but they still have not like they did with the Nike app, which is where we're going to get into a bit. The mids, the gold mids you guys will see are, are not on sneakers. They're exclusively on the Nike app. They will not be dropping on sneakers. Um, and the way you have to go about those is you have to be a Nike Plus member and you had to get notification to be selected for the release. Almost every, I want to say like 95% of accounts got selected if I'm not mistaken. I know one of mine didn't, but it's because I never made any purchase. I'm already inactive on that account, just like very much of a spam account on uh, Nike. And that thing gets like very well else. It got messages and I'll show you guys how to check for that in just a moment. But first up, we're going to talk about the Nike Stinkers release of the Jordan 1 High Patent Gold Blacks. Now, as for this weekend, once again, the force drop in. Check out Monday's video for that. Now, this Monday is November 30th, and it is actually looking like a pretty, pretty hectic day, considering that it's a weekday, but it's still part of like the, it's like the beginning of the holiday season, I kind of want to say. Um, so here we got the Jordan 1 Black Gold, retailing for $170 US dollars retail, available the 30th at 10 a.m. Eastern. Now, almost 99% of sites, no, I'm going to say like 80% of sites will be dropping at 10 a.m. Eastern. Undefeated should probably drop at 8 a.m. They haven't done a raffle just yet, and even if they do, sometimes they do leftover pairs, exhibition rule of next 8 a.m. Eastern, that's through like the 8 a.m. sites. Now, 9 a.m. you probably got, if you don't know if I'm going too fast, it's because these sites are also very low key and very highly botted. So if you're a manual person, don't know about these sites, I wouldn't bother looking into them because your chance of copper are like 90% catching an L. Um, now, as for the other stores, you got Amma Manier probably dropping a little bit later. But once again, these are all mainly doing raffles. Even for an ugly Jordan one like this, they got to do raffles because they know it's going to be hectic online and in store and they're not going to uh, play any chances with that. Now, if you scroll down, you guys can see the SKU code right here is 555088-032. Your full look on this shoe. Now, I actually saw a pair early in hand. We only had GS pairs early, so I didn't want to make a review on that because I learned my lesson from the Obsidian, I mean, not the Obsidian, but the Midnight Navy review. It was a completely different version. I Typically, I always say GS and Men's are very similar, but in this case, for the Midnight Japans, the blue and navy colorway, they were... 100% different. I 100% agree with everyone commenting on that. Uh, but as for the men's pairs, I heard that they're very, very thick patents. So it's it's definitely thicker. They're trying to make them not creasable, but that's almost impossible. Like you're gonna be you're gonna increase these shoes, and they're gonna look pretty ugly when you do get when you do end up creasing them. That's just my take. I do think that patent looks really, really bad when it's creased up, and you gotta retire the shoes when they get at that bad stage. Uh, now, if you scroll down once again, you got GS pairs down here. You can already tell the GS pairs look a little bit different. The gold swoosh is a little bit more dull, along with the gold accents are just a little bit more dull than the men's pair. But retail on this one was 130 US dollars, and both sizes, both versions men's and gs or worth the cop you can go for both men's and gs on the day of release 
It doesn't matter. Try to get in ASAP. Um, once again, it's more like a Leo release, which means you have like two minutes or so to get in. I'd say like a minute and a half more or less because I have some accounts that get in at two minutes and they get sold out right away. So I probably try to get in all your accounts within a minute and a half, two minutes, just around that mark. And then Nike's going to go nitpicking out of the entire 9 million people entering in on this app to see if you actually did end up getting them. Now, I do see a lot of people sleeping on these because uh, everyone is just too crazy about mochas. And then it's like mochas were the high tier. Midnight, JV, Midnight uh, Navy Japan's were like middle tier. And then the absolute low tier where nobody really cares for is these black and gold pants. But it's still going to be profitable. Now, as for the Nike.com release of these mids, um, once again, you guys can see right here, it's in my favorites. But if you actually end up clicking on the link, it takes you to a product that is no longer available. It will not be on the desktop version of Nike. Once again, it will only be on the app. And the way to get onto this app is you have to download Nike. I'm going to do a quick little screen recording just now. We're going to do it live. We're live up on the screen right now. You guys can see. So I click on inboxes, right? We're going to have to blur this out, unfortunately, because it has all my order numbers on it from this week. Um, and we did some good. So now you guys can see right here, it says member first access. Um, just like that, it says Air Journal 1 Mid SE Metallic Golds. Um, and then you click get notified and boom, it takes you directly to this listing. Now you can only get it once again if you got selected uh, from Nike, if you got that message in your inbox. So it's how you check for it. And that's probably the easiest way of getting these. It's stock on Nike is simply like... 70% stock, I feel like, of these mids is going to be at Nike. And then the rest of it, like 30%, is going to be at mids. And another like small percent is going to be at boutiques. Mainly just Nike and foot tights are the biggest stockholders of mids and lows. And then pretty much when time comes, you go in and purchase these. Now, I don't see GS at the moment. Maybe GS loads up separately. Um, but that might be a different story. We ended the recording right there. Um, GS sizes, I feel like, are a much, much better investment. Mids and lows are always, as I say in all my unboxing videos, we show you guys, I buy a lot of them. And that's because they're worth the investment it just takes a lot a lot of time to appreciate you cannot panic with these now as of right now market on them is looking exceptional which we'll get into a second so definitely do not sleep on either men's or gs now as for the foot site release of these jordan one highs we're gonna have men's and gs online and in store and reservations for in store actually ends on the 29th which is this sunday so make sure you get all your reservations in asap and if you guys didn't get your reservations in for the jordan for fire reds yet Make sure you do that as well because that closes literally tomorrow at like 4 p.m. Eastern. And then Sunday, 4 p.m. Eastern is when these should probably close via in-store registration. Now, in-store stock on these, I heard, is not that great. Um, it's another journal one high. And stock is going to be pretty, pretty limited on foot sites. I feel like lately... We've seen foot set numbers go from all over the place, and it definitely does not feel like there's thousands of pairs on release day from foot sites, oh, specifically, just because the fact is they sell really fast. Like Mocos was just a terrible lease. Um, and so I definitely recommend if you're going to be buying this establishment, do so the right way. Throw the kitchen sink at it, as my boy would say, and uh, get all them tasks ready. If you're going manual, I wish you the best of luck. I gave up on foot sites probably uh, ever since like the satin red ones women's because i just always get empty card errors and all that other stuff now if you're gonna go manual one site i do recommend is going on finish line but you have to be through queue within like the first five minutes or so or else you're gonna get od ghost orders a way a ghost order works is you end up buying the shoe and then on finish line jd sports for example they're both the same company uh, they're just two different uh, establishments connected from the parent company jd sports and finish line if you end up checking out and it doesn't give you an order number at the bottom at the checkout screen it says order place thank you no order screen Screen, no order number I should say and no picture of the shoe it's a ghost order means you're gonna get charged you're gonna get refunded and that's absolutely a zero confirmed order the way you get confirmed you have to have order number and the actual image of the shoe on the checkout screen um, now if you get through queue I recommend try, tr quadruple carding this would be elite like you're elite if you do you got men's and GS and then you get men's and GS of these as well but the gold mids, mids will be retailing I mean dropping in all five different size variations you got preschool, you got toddler, you got GS, you got kids, you got men's. You got two different listings for big kids. I think this might be an error on their part. Uh, but these via in-store finish line did already come out. So if you didn't enter for them, you're never getting them unless you catch a restock from finish line or GD Sports in-store. Uh, you got Jimmy Jazz dropping via first come first serve as well. You got DTLR dropping first come first serve as well. Almost every single site is going to be dropping online via first come first serve. Your typical, your YCM, oh, actually, 
YCMC is one of the most recent sites that actually turned from being into a queue system to being just a first come first serve release. And I haven't seen anyone really check out. Oh, they're, they're going to get the metallic mints for sure. You guys can see that's listed right there. But I do not see the highs on their launch calendar, but expect to be added at a later date. Uh, now for in store wise, Shoe Palace did raffle, WSS did raffle, Full Locker is doing in store app reservations. Uh, you got your boutiques doing and probably your app raffles. I mean, form raffles. Those end all Friday that I know of. So make sure you check in. You guys can check out all raffles via link in description with soul retriever uh now as for the aftermarket prices so first up we got the journal one highs right now not getting, not looking amazing but still looking better considering that we're like four days out from release still looking better than the midnight uh japan's these right here these right here they're still looking better than those these were like at 240 dollars before release and these are still holding up just a bit better now as for a resale market i'll definitely focus on super small sizes or even bigger sizes i feel like older people dudes that are more like a little bit more older and mature do like to shoe a lot more than the younger kids in the game just because the fact it's not such like a hype beastie or like you know just like not a hype beastie colorway uh, now, as for resale market where I see it ending up, I do see prices pairs probably dropping around 230 to 40 once only orders come in. When people take L's, they'll go up a little bit. Uh, but really, even when only orders come in, they haven't been affecting market too much like they once did a few months ago. It's just like there isn't like insane online success. And when there is, it's like, like a few dudes who cop like hundreds of pairs. You know what I'm saying? Uh, then we go into GS versions of the same exact shoe. Looking very, very low. Almost $200 mark. Like, five wise already under $200. It's looking really, really bad for the shoe. But remember, the shoes that go down the most end up recovering the most. You got Turbo Greens. You got Rookie of the Years. You got uh, UNC Obsidians. Those are dead. GSIs were at $110. I almost I was looking at StockX today. I got them when I was a little little bitch boy. And I was like, damn, I'm, I lost money today. And we got four pairs in store of GS. And luckily, we held on to every single one. And it paid off big. Now, I do recommend buying these and holding them for the long term. Now, this isn't such a very... Uh, this isn't like a Rookie of the Year color rate. This isn't like a Turbo Green color rate. It's like... It's patent material. So, once again, that's something that people don't like as much. Uh, compared to like Nubuck leather or like something like that. Or buttery like the buttery freaking tumble leather this is a bit different than that so it will take a lot longer for it to go up by delphi see it worth being the investment it's all like investment game it's all about patience at the end of the day as well because if you hold on to your pairs and you can end up being like shattered backboard 3.0 there's like 20 asks of each shoe now there used to be like thousands of asks for each size and now it's like down to 20 or less for each size and that's why they're worth at over 500 us dollars so that's why i always say it's the patient pa so your game is like how patient are you being and how much capital do you have uh, now as for the mids they're very 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 high in certain sizes uh men's not so much at the moment unless you got just seven or seven and a half which is ultra ultra rare uh you do got them dropping in men's and gs if i can pull up gs real quick i cannot hold on let's go ahead and look this up together uh men's are good don't get me wrong they're good investments but the best investment the best cops you can probably get is a gs versions of the shoe right now market is not actually too too great just because they were released at a few retailers already now, once again, finish line should be first come, first serve for these. Snipes should be first come, first serve for these. Um, shoe house probably might be... I know they did a raffle for these. I don't know if that for a fact. Uh, finish line didn't do any raffle with them. So I expect, once again, all finish line and JD Sports to be first come, first serve. Boutiques, most of them are actually doing raffles. A lot of boutiques are doing raffles for mids. Jordan 1... I never thought I'd have to say this, but for Jordan 1 mids... People really out here doing raffles, which is absurd. Uh, but once again, your best chance at copying these is on the Nike app. That's the most easiest method I got for you guys. Other than that, though, you're going to have to go with uh, foot apps, foot sites, and other local boutiques. So that's just about it. Once again, I definitely recommend holding GS. I see them going over $220 in a few mere months, probably by summertime. Um, and that's just about it. So hope you guys enjoyed a little bit longer video than I thought we were going to do. But anyways, that's about it. Hope you guys are ready for this Monday. Good luck. We'll catch you guys tomorrow with an in-store vlog. And happy Thanksgiving. Hope you guys are having a great-ass day. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Peace.